Look, look, look at here, boys and gals. Donald Trump has finally made his way up out the White House. And he left in a peaceful manner, surprisingly. And now, Joe Biden and Camilla Harris is sitting in the White House, chilling, sipping martinis and lemonade, my brother. And the only thing is going to get worse from here on out. Chaos is coming. 2021. Let's get it. But let's start out with Donald Trump. Donald Trump, to me, in my opinion, I don't think he was bad as what people think. Yeah, he made a cause a little chaos. You know, he probably the reason the Rona here. You know, did a little thing that scratch your head sometimes like that. But what tickles me is that the people on the other side made him look bad. That's like common South white folk, you feel me? They made him look bad by going up there to the Capitol, waving their Trump flags and all this and stuff like that. And then it kind of made him look bad when he, when Donald Trump told them people to go do that. And when you do stuff like that, it makes the other race question their head, the black folk, like, man, this is say like some South Side KKK type stuff, you feel me? And that's what caused Donald Trump the election, man. Because he was saying too much, he was on Twitter too much. The people in the White House most likely didn't even want him there no more. But that just speak facts and common sense here. Donald Trump did give the common poor black folk a stimulus checks. For real. No other president ever came out and was like, we're going to get these knucklehead black people some stimulus money. It never happened until Trump got in there. The Roni got here, then Trump gave us the money. Then Trump was trying to give give us $2,000 before he got up out there. <laughs> you believe that? So when I think about it, money ain't everything. But helping the common black folk that poll is a good thing. And Joe Biden, man, when I look at him, bro, I just picture a long snake, man. Like a cobra snake, for real. He got the face of a snake. You know what I'm saying? I see Camilla Harris, man. I just... It just look out of place, bro, when I see them people walking up in there, man. Almost reptilian type feel from them. That's what I get from them. Like, they not eating human beings. But I don't get caught into the politics. The political... I don't know what to say. Politics, whatever. I don't get caught up in that stuff, man. I just speak the facts. So Donald Trump couldn't have been bad as what people believe. It was just people made him look bad by his decision makers and what he was saying and things like that. Cause they say in the Bible, it said your tongue is so deadly that it can cause poison amongst the whole universe. Especially when you're a man in power, when you speak things and tell people to go hear their voices, you know what I'm saying, go go set stone in motion, let them hear you, you have power, and when you say things, they get away, they get across another way to people, and people take it on their own, they handle their own business, so Donald Trump can't control what a, what a crazy maniac go do inside of the U.S. Capitol, even though he's something goons up there, but well, he didn't know. He, should, he saw some KKK up there. Some people that was on the other opposition. opposition. They was raving rebel flags all that around up in that in that U.S. Capitol, man. I mean, they straight up walked up in that mug and told them people like, Yo, we're here for Donald Trump. We come here to steal these votes for Donald Trump and put them in my pocket. 
and we gonna win the election. That's exactly how those folk went up in there, man. That made it look even worse than what it is. And you know, what if Donald Trump was telling the truth about this election, man? I ain't saying he lying. I ain't saying he making it up or whatnot. But what he knows something, he might know something that everybody else don't know. For real. But if it's gone, it's gone. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? If it was rigged, you know how the system worked. The elites felt like, I guess, they need somebody else in there. But we don't, I don't get into the politics like that. I don't get too deep in this stuff because it's all bull crap. I don't see nobody doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never seen the leaders really doing too much for black poor folk. You know what I'm saying? There's still black people out here struggling on the street, living in a homeless bag. You know, they ain't got too much. The less fortunate. And it's still gonna go on to this day. Cause I'm too real for the internet. And that's why I speak these facts. You know, this real talk session over here. You come to learn. We ain't come to confuse people and all this. I'm not on here to confuse nobody. I'm on here to state the facts. And when you see Donald Trump, you see Joe Biden. Something ain't right, man. It's like flu flu. Joe Biden walking around up in that in that White House right now. Him and Camilla Harris. They sipping martini. They sipping lemonade. They end up big chilling. I tell you, man. Every time I see Joe Biden in my mind, I just picture a snake, man. A big old long cobra snake. Hopefully, bro, that people haven't been misled and things turn out right. I'm all about a man of action, not words. I got to see what unfolds before I make a decision on saying that, yo, he's better. You know, people always quick to make a decision on because of what everybody else is saying or what everybody else opinion on it. You got to let the action speak. Not just listen to words. The words don't mean nothing. Actions speak louder than words. And we gonna see what Joe Biden do. Because if he do a better job, I applaud him. But if it ain't benefiting me or nobody else, then it don't really matter to me. It's not for me. But what y'all think about it? Do y'all really think Donald Trump was worse than what y'all people think he was? I think he said some things that got out of hand and it made him look bad. Because sometimes you just need to close your mouth when you got power. You can't be on Instagram saying anything when you got that type of power or celebrity status. People going to listen. They going to do whatever you tell them to do. They call them super fan. Just like people worship rappers and sell out. <laughs> it's all true, man. Let me know what y'all think about this video. It's the messy robot. <laughs> Hell, I'm out.